Hello everyone, my name is Bahij Haddad and today in our screencast we're going to be going over the installation of Windows 7 and the reformatting of the computer after the installation. First things first, you're going to open your CD drive and place the CD in the CD drive. Then allow your computer to boot up and proceed from there. Once the CD is placed in the CD drive and the startup begins, you're going to want to hit F10 as fast as you can. Once you hit F10, it will bring you to the setup page as you see before you. You're going to scroll over to where it says storage and then you're going to scroll down by hitting um, boot order and then hit enter. Then a small box will appear in front of you that looks like this and you're going to see ATPI CD-ROM drive but it's going to be more shaded like you see USB device there. You're going to want to bring this arrow down all the way down to ATPI CD drive and then you're going to want to hit F5 to enable it, essentially turning it on. Then, then you're going to hit enter to bring it all the way back to the top and then hit F10 to save all changes. Once your computer has finished booting up, you arrive at this screen. This is where you're going to choose your language of choice, time and current format, as well as your keyboard. Next, you're going to select, select your operating system. In this case, we're going to be installing Windows 7 Professional. Normally, when you insert a CD, it's only going to give you that one operating system, but I just found this photo that highlights all three of them. But for right now, we're going to be selecting Windows 7 Professional. After selecting the operating system, you're going to arrive to the Terms and Conditions page. This is where you're going to hit I accept license terms and hit next. Then it will bring you to this screen. You're going to select custom. After choosing the custom option, you're going to arrive to this page. It's giving you a list of all the partitions on your computer. You're going to want to have to delete all those partitions and by doing so you're going to want to select driver options advanced. By clicking that it's going to give you more options including the delete button. And once you see that, you want to delete every single partition that's available there. After you've deleted all partitions, you're going to arrive at this screen. This is where you're going to wait the longest. It's going to go through the entire installation process, and you should be ready to go. The installation will be complete once all the items on the list are checked off with a green check mark.